So I was started through Genesis again, and I'm coming up on the part with Noah um, in the flood. So there's lots of interesting stuff there, but I won't go into all of it. But it reminded me, um, and actually, I just brought this up over Thanksgiving to some of my cousins. It's the um, the part after the flood where um, uh, what is it? Ham Ham goes in, and uh, I'll just read it. Uh, Genesis chapter 9 verse 11 of now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth and Ham, if that's how you say it, I don't know, and Ham was the father of Canaan, these three the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated, and Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard, then he drank of the wine and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent, all right, and then this part, and it was and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew that what his younger son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, he shall be to his brethren. So then it goes on from there. So, um... I don't know if I can even try to uh, convey this thought because it's one of those things like that I feel like I haven't spent enough time and thought with to try to pull it all together. So I have a friend, and he's not the only one who thinks this, but he would say that Ham raped Noah and had sex with him while he was sleeping. Um, which I don't know how you get that from that. I think it's the part where it says, so Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. So like he, he woke up later and then there was, uh, I guess, some evidence or something like he, or his butt, his butt was sore. Sorry, <laughs> um, I don't know. I never liked that theory, I never understood because it's just so vague that I didn't know how you could jump to that conclusion. Um, but there's all sorts of different theories. So um, another one is that Ham slept with Noah's wife. Um, then another one was that, um, and I hadn't heard this one before. I don't know where all these come from either. If they're like a Jewish tradition or what. But the other one I heard is that uh, Ham castrated Noah. And then at first, I mean, I just thought it just was what it said. That he passed out and was naked. And then he just pointed it out to his two brothers. And said, look, dad's naked there. He's what a moron. You know, something like that. Um, just kind of making fun of him. That's what I always assumed but then again i guess that's an assumption in my own head and kind of coming up with a conclusion because it is very vague and it doesn't say that that's what he did either but when i heard the theory that he castrated him that kind of piqued my interest a little bit and made me actually think about it more because there's lots of old stories um greek myths um i think even in uh, uh egyptian myths like there's um, ideas of castration and that's like it's just like a theme in old stories and I'm not sure like I understand it all exactly uh, I don't think I understand and I fully grasp the depth of it you're cutting off the seed um, so you're kind of trying to destroy your father's seed um, so anyway the thought here was that it really doesn't matter which theory you go with because the more I thought about it I was like it's if it's about the intent in the heart behind the thing then it's all the same it seems like it's all the same intent whether he was literally whether he castrated his father whether he raped his father whether he had sex with his his mom um whether he um uh or or whether he literally just pointed him out to his brothers it's all he's un he's uncovering his father's shame he's trying to emasculate his father in front of his brothers um and then i was thinking though why why not just murder your father? Like, why wouldn't that be accomplished more? But then you could make him a martyr in a way. I don't know. It just seems like there's a there's a when you when you keep thinking about the intent, even the even the very minimal of him just pointing out his father and making fun of him, it's the intent of heart behind it is very sinister, and it's like you're almost you're trying to destroy. The father's reputation and so you're trying to destroy his seed through that way trying to destroy his name basically so his name can't be perpetuated in the earth because you're trying to 
um, ruin his name in a way. So when you get at the heart of it, it seems that seems more sinister than actually even killing him because it's like you're um, you're trying to destroy his remembrance also in a way and his name and his future and everything. So it seems, um, yeah. So I think. I don't think it really matters which theory you go with because I think I think the intent of it is all is all the same so you could really say he did any of those things um well I don't know that you could really do that <laughs> I guess I guess you could assume in your own mind I don't know that you should teach that he did any of those things cause I don't think you have enough evidence but I think you could any way you want to go with it in your head I think it's about the intent of the heart behind it and the intent seems the same throughout all those um no matter what actually happened, it just seems like the, yeah. So, that's what where what I was thinking. That's kind of what I uh, concluded in my own mind. That so I don't know. I'd love to hear, leave a comment or something. I'd love to hear people's thoughts about it. Like what the actual intent of the heart is behind that, um, behind him uncovering his father's nakedness. Um, and what yeah, and what do you think the what what you yeah whatever you think he actually did to him um so i don't know man maybe onto something there who knows i don't know anyway